Looking ahead, the city of Tampa gearing up for a month-long Gasparilla celebration, and safety is a top priority. As the area's population and Gasparilla's popularity have grown in recent years, so have challenges in maintaining a safe event. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser has a closer look at this year's plan. Well, this year's Gasparilla safety plan leans heavily into personal responsibility outside the 30-plus agencies combining efforts to keep the event safe. It doesn't mean that we don't need your help. A common theme this year is personal responsibility, especially when it comes to alcohol consumption. Zero tolerance at the children's parade, but also code enforcement, cracking down on non-permitted parties. A party without a permit will be shut down for safety reasons, out of compliance with fire safety and life safety. The same alcohol policies will also be enforced on the water. If you're going to be operating the vessel, please uh, refrain from drinking alcohol and have a have a plan to have someone operate your vessel. Law enforcement and parade sponsors are also visiting area universities and high schools ahead of the upcoming events as part of the Responsibility Matters initiative. The program has decreased underage drinking by 54 percent. We encourage our students to be responsible and to make smart choices so they can enjoy the day and be back at school on time, ready to learn on Monday morning. Other safety measures this year include a medical triage tent on scene, staffed by TGH volunteers and mobile medical units on bicycle to help navigate through a predicted crowd of more than 300,000. There is going to be a lot of traffic. Traffic will be off the charts. Please arrive early. Other tips include taking a picture of your child and what they're wearing the day of the event in case they become separated. Plot the location of your vehicle to help you find it later. And text the word Gasparilla to 888-777 for information specific to the event and any critical updates. In Tampa, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. And traffic is definitely going to be mm -hmm. insane, both on the roads and yes, in the water. On the roads, though, City of Tampa reminding you that there are local parking garages which will be open and available for all of the events, so park there. Yeah, officials also mentioned this right here. Street closures, so uh, as you mentioned, heavy mm -hmm. traffic, too. You are encouraged to walk, bike, or use those scooters.